Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the wee hours of the early morning before they even open up the doors to the public here at the Las Vegas Convention Center for the 2023 edition of the SEMA show. And of course, there was no way that I was going home without stopping at the Nissan booth. And to start things off, we have something very, very special in that compact performance car segment. It's this vehicle right here. This is a Nissan Sentra DET. But before we get into this hyped up turbocharged manual transmission Sentra, let's talk about what's going on here. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, Nissan was really doing some things in that compact car class. I remember when I was younger, the Sentra SERs, that was something that really people were going towards when they wanted that compact car performance. And remember, compact car performance, there's a lot of hot competition. You had the Civic Si. Of course, you had vehicles from General Motors and Ford and everything else. Well, guess what? The landscape has changed in the auto industry. A lot of, of course, crossover SUVs. You know, we're talking about full battery electric vehicles. Well, guess what? Nissan really not only surprised me, but are surprising a lot of people with this car because basically it is that production Sentra, but with the performance goodies and a manual transmission that people really crave. So what I wanna find out is, if you are looking for a performance vehicle and you want that more sport compact car experience, is this the best way to go with the Sentra? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Now, if you're wondering why they call it the DET, it actually stands for something. Dual overhead cams, electronic fuel injection, and turbo charge power. Now, at the front of the business, it's interesting because they took the Sentra, which may look pretty bland, sitting brand new stock at the showroom, and they really amped it up. First of all, this custom wrap really takes the color of the vehicle, adds that extra sporty style. You have full LED headlights, daytime running lamps, headlamps, and your turn signals. Working your way down, nothing fake. Functional fog lamps on the lower portion. And this area is actually stock Sentra. So it's not like they built a special front fascia for this vehicle for SEMA. It's interesting that, like I said, when you add some race graphics, when you add a little bit of wrap and a little bit of color, the stock form actually takes on such a sporty style. Now, as we come across the front grill area, of course you have that V-Motion grill. That goes without saying, this is a styling cue that when you see this style grill, you know it's a Nissan vehicle. You got the Nissan badge nice and large in the center. And the great news is, is that the stock opening on the lower grill, because it's fully functional, is gonna allow a lot of cool air because like I said, we have a turbocharged power plant. Now, because it's turbocharged, lurking behind there is gonna be that nice large intercooler so that we could keep that charge nice and cool, dense air to give us the most power. Now, as we rise up, of course, if we have air coming in, we gotta take the hot air out. And you'll notice these Nismo specific heat extractors on the hood. They are fully functional, look like something right off of a race car. And if you're wondering, once again, I'll explain for those that maybe forgot, what does Nismo stand for? It stands for Nissan Motorsports. That's where they get the term Nismo. And it's interesting because Nismo has been around for decades and it's all based off of that great engineering and sports car success that they've had on the racetracks that they bring to the street. Now, as we come around the bend, of course, if we're gonna have turbocharged power, more performance underneath the hood, we gotta have performance when it comes to wheels, brakes, and suspension. So you're gonna notice these Nismo specific, Nissan Motorsport specific 18 inch wheels. Love the style, nice satin black finish. You're gonna have the large, four piston calipers with the Nissan branding there. And then we actually have the super size rotors. They're two piece rotors slotted, built for the racetrack. You're gonna have these Yokohama Advan track focused tires, more of a track day tire rather than just pure street. And of course, special suspension bits. They lowered it a little bit. You have special springs, 
bracing to stiffen up the chassis to really make this car handle very well. Now, as we rise back up, we're gonna coast back around to the other side just to give Steven a little extra room. Steven likes to get his elbows out, likes to get working nice and hard. Now, coming around this side, I do wanna show how they actually did sort of like a 50-50 split. And we're gonna do this as we go towards the back since this, actually, what the heck, Steven, it's kind of cool. They have information for people that stop by. There's the Centra DET. Working your way down, this is actually a carbon fiber stand. This is one of the reasons why I thought it'd be cool to show this. This is the attention to detail that they do over at Nissan with the booth, is that this full stand here with the placard is carbon fiber. Now, I wanna just have a little bit better look. Maybe if Steven could come in between the bars here and show you those brake rotors because they are absolutely beautiful two-piece. Now remember, the whole point about having a two-piece rotor is that it cuts down on heat. Heat is not your friend underneath the hood and it's definitely not your friend when it comes to braking. So having a two-piece rotor, that aluminum hat with the steel rotor is gonna help dissipate heat. And because they're slotted, you would think that those little lines, they look cool, they actually help dissipate more heat. So very important. Of course, this is still front wheel drive. They didn't make it all wheel drive or rear wheel drive, front wheel drive. And they actually have a series up in Canada where they race these. It's a spec series where they race Sentras. So really cool that they're basing this uh, particular one off of that, uh, off that series. Now, as we come down the side, I like the way they did the extra touches with some carbon fiber on the mirror caps. Whenever you see that red trim, that's gonna mean that that is a Nismo vehicle. This does have a sunroof, which is surprising. I thought that they would maybe take one that did not have a sunroof to have a more um, rigid structure, but it does have a sunroof. I'm gonna have Steven kind of drop back because to see it from the side with the graphics, like I said, really gives it that extra pop. And it's interesting because it's not too over the top. You know, here at SEMA, it's all about going big and really getting people's attention. I feel like this is a nice balance between getting your attention, but also not being too in your face. Now you'll look, notice on the bottom side, that side skirt extension that drops down, just to give it a little bit more aero efficiency on the side. Love the way when you're coming towards the rear. These wheels, I wanna take one of these home with me and hang it on the wall because especially in this copper color, Absolutely. Steven, show them the, the rotor. Get a little close. Don't be shy. Two-piece rear rotors with your uh, special brakes set up all four corners. And then coming to the tail end of the business, all you're going to find is your standard Nissan Sentra trunklet spoiler. They didn't put some 12-foot wing on here. This is what you get from the factory. I like the way they got the blacked out Sentra badge. And then over here, the DET. Do you remember what that stands for? Dual overhead cam, electronic fuel injection, turbocharged engine. And then as we drop it down to ground level, the finishing piece is right out back. So you're gonna have this amazing stainless steel cap back exhaust with the Nismo branding, nice large opening slash cut. The rest, like we started from the front, is gonna be stock standard Sentra, even the functioning taillights. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood because I wanna show you something beautiful lurking underneath it. All right, guys, we got the hood popped open. You could clearly see just how functioning the vents are on the hood to release that hot air. And of course, if this was something that was be, you know, you could get from Nissan, there would also be some type of rain shield that you could add or remove so that if you're not at the track, why have a bunch of water if it rains, just dump all over the engine. Speaking of the engine, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So basically what they did was they took the two liter and they added a turbocharged engine. So you're looking at a two liter turbocharged engine bolted to a six speed manual. Now think about that. Currently in the United States, the only transmission available is a CVT on a Sentra. So cool to see the availability of that manual transmission with that Nismo stainless steel exhaust. And what's cool is, is that DET, if you know your Nissan history, that acronym has been on the Nissan Silvia, the 280SX, the Pulsar, and of course we have that coilover suspension. And wait until we get to the interior, 
because there's some special touches there. I like the way you can clearly see your blow off valve. You got a MoTeC system for all the timing, the tuning and everything nicely accessible underneath the hood. You got your performance cone filter from k &N, all of the custom piping and tubing. And then of course your uh, turbocharged setup is what really is gonna make that extra power. But why don't we go ahead, I wish I could say, I, let's start it up right now, but obviously we can't because we're here in the convention center. But why don't we go ahead, let's jump into the interior and see what this DET Sentra has to offer. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Sentra DET. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this thing is killer. I had an SER back in high school, and I remember my girlfriend at the time broke up with me and I sold the car because of all the bad memories. But I wish that I could get a compact performance Nissan Sentra. How much is this? Well, there's no official pricing yet, but Nissan is trying to gauge interest. So if you are interested, put it in the comment section. They're going to read through it. We're going to do this a little differently because we're at SEMA. Instead of going to the door panels, to the dash. Soft touch material. You still got your stock orange stitching, just like on your standard Sentra. Full infotainment. So don't think that this is a race car. Full infotainment, AC vents, AC controls, your standard AC controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel, you got all your connectivity, but this is where the magic happens. This is that six speed manual transmission with the custom Nismo shift knob, like the way it looks, like the way that we have a manual transmission. Two cup holders, good old fashioned mechanical e-brake, soft material, and then underneath here is where you're gonna put a jar for all the tiers of the Civic Type R owners, the SI owners, uh, even the Elantra N owners, they're gonna cry a lot of tears. So you can keep that jar in there and then you can shake up the tears every time you see them. And then really the cherry on top, besides the manual transmission, these seats right here, Recaro pole position seats. These are actual race style buckets. Love the Recaro, the actual bolstering. They are manual adjustments, but I'm telling you right now, these are gonna hold you in and keep you planted so that you could do the business with your six-speed manual transmission. I would love to take this through some uh, twisty bits outside of Las Vegas uh, here in the city. Flat bottom steering wheel, standard gauges. So this is, like I said, I think the thing to remember is, is that they didn't turn this into a race car and gut it. This is a production car with that extra performance that they run a spec series in Canada with. But like I said, we got to do this a little differently because we are at SEMA and I got a lot more to film here at the Nissan booth. So before we could go on throttle, hopefully we get that day to go on throttle. Until that day, let's wrap it up from the SEMA Nissan booth. All right, guys, it's always a good time here at SEMA. Never been a bad time, especially if you're a car person being around all this excitement. Want to thank the whole Nissan USA team, Casey, Janelle, and the rest of the crew getting us some special early morning time with this Sentra DET. Let me know what you think. Should Nissan move forward and make some type of production Sentra with a turbocharged engine and a manual transmission? Are you in? Let them know in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography working that camera like a champ. He was up at 4.30 this morning because he was so excited just to come back to the SEMA show. We're popping his cherry and he's loving it left and right. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.